have a passport. Is there any, any peep show on the board? <laughs> The weather's looking really promising for starting on Wednesday in Haines. Should we go? I think so. Nice! Five! He always went to the gnarly one and I went to the, the little one off to the side. I got a kick-ass snowboard jacket here. It's the time of night when getting wrong is feeling right Too scared, close your eyes, let's make it a surprise Try to run away, it's always gonna win the race We were riding down a Stevens Pass and Justin had his eye on the weather up in Alaska and uh, it looked like there was a crazy high pressure system and they had a good base and everything. This was about mid-February. Hey Gigi, it's Justin, give me a call. We actually got a phone call from Justin that things Weather-wise and conditions-wise are looking good in Alaska. He asked me if I would be down to have a Jake blow out in the crew. Hey Jake, weather's looking really promising for starting on Wednesday in Haines. Oh, no way. Yeah. Should we just go? I think so. Nice. And I thought that was a fantastic idea. We got tickets uh, for the next day. So we met each other in Seattle and uh, flew up there. To Juno. We are in the middle of the morning in Juno, boarding the ferry to uh, Skagrit and Haines, which is our final destination. Do you have a passport? Yeah, I do have my passport. Is there any, any peep I'm, show on I'm board? More, I'm, I'm more <laughs> more I went to, to Alaska in an early stage of the season. Yeah, I, I usually stay till the last moment. We decided to see how the conditions are developing in Alaska. And Going skiing? Yeah, yeah. boarding. All right. All right. And then you hop on a ferry from Juneau. It's like a three or four hour ferry ride up to Haines. at hand, we talked to a few people and uh, all of a sudden became possible for us to arrive. After unpacking our bags, we would already be in a helicopter. And How old are your goggles, Justin? Older than you. How many times did you have to go pee already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got a couple of butterflies in my stomach. That was my first time ever to Alaska. It was crazy. I had like crazy butterflies the whole time. and like. That I'm going up to Alaska with like with Hosnick and Geeky of all people, like for my first trip ever, just us. So it was unreal. It was really cool. Geeky's a legend since he's what 14. Well, he watched me pick the line. I took one to the to the outside to leave him the main run. Fifteen seconds later, you know, he shoots out in the valley bottom. How do you think Jake's feeling right now? A lot of adrenaline going through his body, I bet. All right, man. Dropping in five. One of the highlights was for sure Jake blew out standing on top of his first Alaska line. It's just like crazy thinking, all right, I'm going to be down where he's at in 15 seconds, like 2,000 feet below. I almost got taken out by my slough really bad on that first line, but luckily I just managed to get by. Yeah, Ted, uh, you can make your way down. We're packing it up. That's one of my favorite parts about that absent crew. Talent. 
Scott definitely found his talent. How's your first day in AK? Feels like I'm a rookie again. I am. <laughs> it feels good. Yeah, to actually be learning a lot. Cookie, 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 hey, cookie. Superman, I'm Cookie Monster. Your stomach hurts. It comes like the little playing gigi. Oh, cookie with you. Baby tummy. Cookie tummy. <laughs> we found that wind lip and uh, we thought we could get some jumping done for for this trip. And as soon as he's serious, he's dead serious. Into it. Yeah, it looks good, man. Jake, I think he landed a front set five as well. The stale fish, first try. And So use some cameras you put on the on the strap of the goggle. It films you, you know, flying in the air. Jake's boot pack is not a joke. You can't be safe now. So just lay down. You can't be safe now. So just lay down. My favorite shot of that day was by far was his last hit. He went back seven, stomped it. And follow the cornice line down to do a jump out of the cornice. And then front side three off the ridge down into the flats and stomped it. And it's just like, Gigi is the man. I'm gonna stomp and flow out too. It's like Gigi. Jake landed like super sick front side seven. Slop, I told him. He always called it Japan, but Front said I think it's called Slop. You can be saved now. So just lay down. Wake up, honey, there's a knocking at the door. The disco box is dead. The disco box is dead. You gotta hide that down on the way to the show. Once he, I saw him drop in, he just had so much speed and, and uh, did those turns. And he showed that he felt confident in the arena up there and was bound for a good trip. Somewhere in there, if he took off from the heels and then down into the sunny landing on the yeah. other side. Jake and me found an uh, uh, old, unknown spot which has been in, ridden a lot in the past. It's called Rooster Tail. It was nice to be able to, to kind of be in the back seat with those guys and like just do whatever those guys do because they've been doing it for years and they do it really well. We always had different lines. <laughs> he always went for the gnarly one and I went for the, the little one off to the side. I felt really fortunate to be with such an experienced and tight crew right off the bat for my, for my first trip to Alaska. I think it's one of the most radical places to go snowboarding. Just riding raw, raw spot to the max and bringing the passion to it. What's up, guys? Yeah, so uh, Gigi Ruff's here with us, all the way from Austria, one of his recurring trips to Haynes. And uh, he's going to be giving away something a little bit later here on the show. We're going to do a little trivia question. Gigi, why don't you tell him what you're going to be giving away? I got a kick-ass snowboard jacket here. We're asking, what did uh, Vincent van Gogh get wasted on when he chopped off his ear? Uh, the time is 4.42, and Scott here is going to play a song for everyone. All right, this is... Uh... Mm -hmm. Brand new song, this is called Salida Saluda. It's yet unreleased and uh, I say it's never been played on the radio. So here we go. Electric laser beam 
guy that I really, really enjoy watching riding. Jake Blavelle found this sideways into a landing drop, like a step down. I think he went straight for it and uh, did a backside seven first try and put it down. I had to try it as well and I did like a front set five and I went a back set five on it. turned out to be the best call we could make. It makes me happy though that there's places like this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Winter refuges. And I hope to see you again. Yeah. When making my way down, lower myself down to earth again. <laughs> It's not a vacation, this is a holiday adventure. Beautiful start of a beautiful new day in Kamchatka. Kamchatka! 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 I love this place, man. I might never go home.